Hi, I'm Sean Banks. Welcome to another episode of Extension Gardener on the Crystal Coast. This is a hydrangea right here behind me and um, one of the questions I often get is how do I prune my hydrangeas and when do I prune them? So one of the things I want to do today is go ahead and show you how to prune these hydrangeas. It's uh, about almost mid-April and so I'm probably a little bit late pruning this here but I want to go ahead and do it anyway because you, as you can see there's a lot of dead wood on here and there's a lot of legginess to it so I want to get it more tight and compact so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove any dead wood. So I'm going to take all this dead wood here I'm going to cut it back as far as I can and just get rid of that. Once I finish printing all the dead wood out, then I'm gonna take some of these larger or longer canes and I'm gonna prune them back um, down to a little bit lower so that the, the plant will be more compact and won't be so stringy. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna reach down in here and I'm going to cut just above this outward, outward growing branch that has green on it and just go ahead and cut that so that you can't even see where the cut was made. Once I get all of this done, you'll be able to see how much prettier that plant looks when it's all pruned up and, and complete. Okay, now that I've finished printing, you can see the plant is much more short, compact. It's a whole lot prettier to look at than the, the long sticks and twigs were. Uh, I may have cut off some of the, the flower blooms for this year, but at least the plant will be more compact. And next year it'll be loaded with flowers. This fall when um, the plant goes dormant, all I really need to do is just prune off the old flower heads and, and it'll be ready to go for next spring. Okay, well, until next time, happy gardening. 